On today's menu, a steamy recipe that's absolutely delicious. Classic congee. Lei ho ma, that's how's it going in Cantonese. I'm Will Young from youngmencooking.com. Welcome to the channel where you can cook with confidence. Today we're making one of my childhood favorites, delicious congee. Let's begin. Five pieces of garlic, finely chopped. One onion, finely chopped. So kanji is one of those recipes that I quite enjoy making differently every time and I feel like every time you're cooking in the kitchen is a opportunity to try something new as well. Peel about 200 grams of daikon radish and finely chop. One cup long grain rice. Rinse and drain the rice. Stock pot. Medium heat. Two tablespoons avocado oil. Onions and garlic. Saute for 8 to 10 minutes. That really smells amazing. Cooking congee is really the labor of love, but boy is it ever delicious. Rice. Saute for a few minutes. You can really smell the toastiness of that rice. Just adds so much delicious flavor. Turn the heat up to medium high and add two cups of water. Two generous tablespoons miso paste. Stir until most of the water has evaporated. Two cups water. Stir.
When the porridge has thickened again, add another two cups of water. Continue to stir. If the boiling becomes too aggressive, you can take the pot off the heat to stir. As the water evaporates, the rice should continue breaking down. Add another two cups of water. Continue to stir. I absolutely love making congee because you just start off with some really simple, humble ingredients and then it just transforms into something completely different. 150 grams shimeji mushrooms. One cup water. Stir and cook for another four to five minutes. Place a lid on the kanji and set it aside. Don't worry about the kanji because that will stay super hot. Now, the best part about kanji is actually the toppings. This is where you can get really creative. Pat dry about 200 grams of extra firm tofu and place it in a bowl. Use a fork to mash the tofu into a crumble. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. Half cup peanuts. Toast the peanuts for a couple of minutes. Two tablespoons white sesame seeds. Toast for another minute. Set the peanuts and sesame seeds aside. Pan back on medium heat. Drizzle of avocado oil. Tofu crumble. Saute for three to four minutes. One tablespoon soy sauce. One tablespoon dark soy sauce. Saute for another two to three minutes. Combine the tofu and the peanuts together. Finally chop a few sticks of green onion. Then they slice some fresh ginger. Toppings ready. Generously plate the congee. Garnish with the ginger, tofu crumble, and peanuts. Green onions, a dash of soy sauce if desired. Last but certainly not least, the delicious incredibly smoky and aromatic chili oil. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check this out, make this really easily at home.
you can now enjoy this childhood classic with absolute confidence. Boy, oh boy, that is like a painting. Making kanji is kind of a lot of work, but man, nothing really replaces the comfort it provides. I mean, the rice is just cooked down so fluffy and luscious and just has this really kind of smooth, melted kind of taste. The daikon radish basically melts into that porridge and that miso paste gives it that kind of underlying bit of a saltiness and umami. And of course the garlic and onions that we sauteed and cooked along with the rice basically just melts in there as well. And then when you mix in all those additional flavors like the smoky chili oil, the little bit of soy sauce, it really just makes this almost like the ultimate savory comfort dish really is just incredibly delicious. And of course, the thing I love about kanji is the toppings. You have these contrasting textures. You get that crunchiness from the toasted peanuts, the sesame seeds, and you get that kind of substantial chewiness and the umami from the shimeji mushrooms, the tofu crumble, and the freshness from the green onions, as well as that kind of a little bit of a heat and the sweetness from that thinly sliced fresh ginger. Of course, with kanji, you can really get creative with the toppings. You can do whatever you like, and more often than not, it will come out absolute delicious. Like I said, I love how kanji is literally just a few humble, simple ingredients, and you can dress it up to whatever you like and to enjoy as your personal comfort dish. And best of all, it is incredibly easy to make. You can also make this kanji ahead of time and keep the toppings separate so that when you're ready to eat, you can just warm up the kanji, place on the toppings, and you're good to go. This visually stunning dish is definitely no surprise why it is one of my childhood favorites. It's dishes like this that gets me so excited about cooking at home. Absolutely love it. And if you love easy and delicious recipes like me, then definitely check out the Vegan Ramen Cookbook or the Cook with Confidence Cookbook. To take a sneak peek inside the book or to check out our Young Man Cooking merch, I'll leave a link in the description box below for you to check those out. As always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell. I'll see you in the next episode.